What's up guys? So I just did this reading on, so initially the question was, I asked Spirit, I said, hey Spirit, is Kim Kardashian Kanye West twin flames? You know, with this twin flame journey, sometimes you, you like to think, well, who else are twin flame or divine couples? Kanye is very spiritual person, so I just decided, like, let me do a reading on Kim Kardashian, and then I decided to do a reading to see if they were twin flames. Um, again, with my schedule, I, I have been off schedule, but I want to do readings for each sign. And then at the end of the readings for that particular sign, I want to do a famous person or celebrity reading to, to, to attune to their level of success, how we can be successful like them, or, you know, something interesting and appealing as it pertains to that celebrity that can help us. Today's topic was, is Kim, and Kanye, Kanye, Kim Kardashian and Kanye was twin flames. Now... What I ask spirit is what I ask spirit. What I got from spirit is something, I won't say different, but I got a relationship reading from spirit. And what I'm getting is that it's potentially they're having a hard time in their relationship right now. So the bottom of the deck or the overall energy of the reading is the end of a tough cycle approaches. And life is art. Paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy the dance. That sounds like something Kanye was, life is art. I'm pretty sure he said that before. It's not like something he'll say. Um, and then the, also the bottom of the deck energy we have. Two of fires and the eight of earth. What is this saying? And if you are easily offended with, you know, this erotic deck that I have, Manara, erotic deck then this reading is not for you and click off do what you gotta do so anyway we have these two cards together basically it's telling me that they're working on it or they're working on um their relationship and they're trying to remain positive the tool of fire is about remaining positive and um just trying to bring life back into the relationship and working hard on staying together so let's move forward with the first set of cards for their reading we have the reason it hurts so much is to separate is because our souls are connected in the name of earth this further clarifies that they are going through or could potentially be separating we're going through hard times in their relationship. But look at this. The nip, she looks like, she, or whoever, whatever that is, is, look, is praying. So it's like, yeah, it hurts. So that confirms to me, that makes me feel like they are at least soulmates. And um, we have several soulmates in our lifetime. I don't know if, I'm not sure if it's karmic or what kind of soulmates they are, but basically this is saying they're soulmates. And they're going through some tough times in their relationship and their marriage, but they're praying about it because clearly they love each other. Look, it says it's, it hurts so much because our souls are connected. So when you're in that energy, you pray about it. You try to, you know, you try to rectify it, especially being married and you love the person that you're with and you want to save your marriage. So you, you go to God, you pray about it. And that's what's happening in their relationship. But with the end of a tough cycle approaches being there and working on it and trying to remain positive, it's looking good for them. It, it doesn't look like it's over. It just looks like a tough time. So the next combination we have is souls that belong together or that belong to each other will always find their way back to each other. Again, they're probably soulmates. And then we have the Seven of Cups. Let's talk about this Seven of Cups first. The two, these two um, together is saying maybe it looks like they are separating for good or it could be, it could appear really bad. You see how he's just staring at her, um, you know, admiring her or from afar or an outside looking in and covered up. It's like Things aren't what they seem for them right now. It's like he's admiring her from afar because they aren't together. But though it seems bad or it may look bad in their relationship 
or um, things may seem like it's going to keep them apart this time. Everything is what it seems. Um, and then we have the Knight of Fire adding to this. If you look at the Knight of Fire, she's riding her horse really quickly and really fastly. What I'm getting from this is, you know that song, um, Lil, Nas, Lil, Lil Nas X? I'm going to take my horse to the old town road, ride a tie, can't no more. And when you're riding a horse, it's about overcoming adversity during a storm. It's about making your way through it, you know, getting on the road to success, on the road to freedom, on the road to better times. You ride your horse. So spirit is saying, ride that horse, giving advice to ride that horse or saying, you know, yeah, it looks bad. Yeah, it looks like. We aren't together. Yeah, it looks like we're breaking up. But soulmates, people who are meant to be together, will find their way back to each other. And it's not the end for you. So get on your horse and take the ride because, and ride it to the end. Because in the end, you'll see that it was a journey. You'll see that this is only leading us to better times. So right now you may be, things may, you may be on the outside. Or you may feel like you're on the outside looking in or you may feel... Um, like it's over, but it's not over. It's just a part of the journey. It's a part of your, their particular journey. It's a part of marriage. It's a part of growth. And yeah, you're going through tough times, but you'll be back together. You'll get through it. If you continue to ride that horse, if you continue to fight for what you believe, you know, for your marriage. Last combination we have is confidence is your key to success. And we have several different um, cards. Let's which one do we want to talk about first? Let's talk about this one first. Spirit is calling for them to bring the love back into their partnership. Bring the excitement about, you know, back to their partnership. Yeah, you may be going through tough times, but remain confident that you're supposed to be together. Remain confident in the journey. Remain confident in your marriage and yourself. And bring the love back into your relationship because it's leading to this. The number 13 is about test. The number 13 is about death of the old self and, you know, resurrection to more, to higher levels of living, resurrection to better times, resurrection to rebirth, a new you. But the number 13 for them is about going through, you know, the end of something, but making it better. It's not just the end, like, Oh, an absolute end, but it's the end of old times and the beginning of new times that are much better than it was before. And then it's, with all these cards, this makes total sense. Like, look at these cards, guys. Look at this one. <laughs> holding it, you know, she's holding his penis. And then you look at this one, the same thing. It's like bring the fire back into your relationship. Bring the love back into it. Bring the sexiness back into it. Love on each other. And you have all three. You have water, earth, and fire here. This is major. You know, that couple, couple with the resurrection card, that's even more better times. You know, it has those three elements. Only element it's missing is air. But... This is enough. This is major changes, major um, resurrection. Resurrection is major anyway. I don't even have to explain it that much. But basically, it's just saying start loving on each other again. Look, you, bruh, do y'all see this card? The black man and the white woman. This is perfect for them. And it's like she's holding him. Spirit is saying better times are coming. Remain confident. Yeah, you're going through a process. What did Kanye ask for major things? And Kim asks for major things, too. And sometimes when you ask for something major, like being present, and you start doing major things like, you know, um, like they're doing, you go through a process. And you're tested in many ways. It appears that their marriage is also being tested. I'm so sorry, guys. I have so many messages that are coming through right now. Anyway, but um, they're being tested. Sometimes... You know, your test includes your partnership. Your test includes finances. It's a lot of things that you go through when you're married or when you ask for something from spirit, when you ask something from the universe that's major and you go through tests. And I believe that their marriage, their union is a part of that test. But spirit is asking them to remain confident in what you bring and what each individual brings to the partnership. Remain confident that 
this isn't over. It's a tough cycle, but resurrection is near and it's going to be, it's going to bring even more sexier times. It's going to bring, um, a, a higher level of existence for the both of them. Yeah. So that's, that's excitement, more excitement, um, and love, emotional fulfillment and love and better times. So this was out the blue guys. I did not, um, expect to get a reading like this on, I honestly don't even, I'm not a person that like cares that much about other people's relationship, but I thought I would get insight into the twin twin. You know, just wanted to see if they were twin flames and spirit just wanted me to know. I don't know why. Or put this video out there. Hopefully it's seen, but it's just saying that, um, yeah, they're going through tough times right now, but it's a part of the cycle. It's a part of the rebirth. It's a part of the process. It's a part of the test and trials and tribulations um, before rebirth. Remain confident and know that. Remain confident in what each individual brings to the partnership and remain confident that this tough cycle, the end of, is near of the tough cycle and, and better times are on the horizon. All right, guys, if you want a private reading, click the link in my description. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Hey guys, thank you for liking, subscribing, and commenting. You are the best. This what God feel like. huh. I've manifested full payment of all 106,000 of my student loans. I only pay like $60 out of $106,000. I've manifested $30,000 twice. I've manifested connection to my divine partner. I've manifested the activation of my third eye and spiritual gifts. I manifested the concept of all four of my books way before they created. So many things I manifested and now I'm manifesting you. I'd like to teach you the manifestation process. I know the what behind manifestation, what's required, the process. I know how it's done. I know why it's done. I also know things that can hinder your manifestation process and I'd like to teach you. So click the link below today and start manifesting the desires of your heart tomorrow.